Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K21. Now this time I'm going to be playing a course called Kirkaldi CC. Uh, it's fairly new, it's only had 15 plays on the PlayStation so far. I'm going off the black tee at 7,076 yards. Usual course conditions and the default time of day and weather is morning and overcast. So uh, let's get this round underway and see what this course has to offer. Par 4 opening hole. Not too long. About 400 yards. Just spotted something down the left hand side there. I'm not sure if they're buying ice creams or beer. Or both. <laughs> A little water hazard there on the right hand side. I'm not really sure whether that would come into play similarly with that one down there so we've got 69 yards to go now we've got to be careful not to go too far here because you can see that slope is quite severe Some spin. Oh no. Oh dear, dear, dear. I don't know what I was thinking there. I think I was miles away on that one. That was bizarre. <laughs> Lapse in concentration there and I hit it red fast. Now let's get the book out. How far is that water hazard away? 340 yards it's hardly any wind to speak of so that should be should be fine for me just to go at it about 100 yards to go It's gone right. Further right than I intended anyway. Now then, let's see if I can put a better swing on this putt than I did on the previous hole. Because that was absolutely shocking. Oh, I haven't read it right. It was a better swing, but I didn't read the line very well. well that's clever. Just having a look there at the um, the display with the name of the course on.
Now this water hazard we certainly do have to be careful. Now I'm not sure if this is a course designing issue. I'm just going to highlight something again. I don't know whether it's even possible to do this. But can you see the um, the line there separating the water to the land is a very, very straight kind of almost artificial looking line. Now I don't know whether that's something that can be changed in the course designer. I'm afraid I don't design courses so I couldn't, couldn't tell you if it is or not. But it's just something I'd be nice if that was possible to make it look a little bit more natural. I've got to be careful here because the flag is quite close to the front of the green. It's ever so slightly slow, I'm not sure. It's safely on the green, but I don't think it's going to be particularly close. a better putt. First birdie of the round. Par five fourth. Four uh, sorry five sixty two but that's going to be as the crow flies and it's a dog leg left so this is going to be playing very long. Nice drive. Just admiring that clubhouse on the right hand side. I like the building. Now, I'm going to have a go with the driver here and see how close I can get. going to go left. Kick right, kick to the right. No. Nice, <clears throat> excuse me, nice bunker shot. Now we've got a short par four at the fifth, which is potentially is drivable, but as you can see, there's a lot of water there guarding the approach to the green. So we could lay up I think with a three wood might be the safest option here or hit the driver and try and keep it down that left hand side let's give it a go well, it's avoided the water Nice little bounce towards the green as well.
Mm. Oh, I got greedy there. It could be costly. Yeah, that's a nice putt. I went for the chipping eagle and just overcooked it. Now we've got another short par four here. Considerably shorter, actually, 278. I think we'll just hit the three wood here. Play it safe. Oh, I've hit it fast. That's okay, it stops short of the bunker. Too much spin on that. Yeah. Safely in for the birdie. Another par five here. Oh, this is a long one. 626 yards, dog leg left, quite a narrow fairway with water either side as well. Was it going to reach? Wow, I've made the green in two. Tricky part here over the over that sort of hump. Quite a bit of right to left break on this as well. Yeah, that was a really difficult putt. I got the pace right. Two holes left on the front nine. Lengthy par four here at 481 yards. That could kick left into the rough. No, that's okay. Now, the only thing I would say, um, just my personal opinion, but some of these water houses, they kind of feel, have a bit of a random sort of feel to them in terms of their positioning. Um, and I think my advice would probably be, whenever you're laying a hazard, think about 
is that hazard going to come into play? Is it going to be somewhere where the golfer is likely to go? I mean, unless I hit a really bad shot, I'm unlikely to end up in, in these little pools of water here. Um, having said that, I could hit a really bad shot and go over there. Especially with that tree in the way, I've just noticed. Yeah, just something I think to be a little wary of. Kick left. That's yeah, a fraction long. Just a tad, it's not bad. Another downhill it. I made a bit of a mess of the last downhill part I had. I've misread that one as well. I'm not reading the downhill putts very well. Now this is a long par for 500 yards. four yards to go into the breeze now this one is certainly where the water hazard could very easily come into play although well, I think I'd like to see a bit more water in that one actually it almost looks like there's a there's a ditch there um, and the course has had a bit of rain and it hasn't hasn't evaporated yet or drained away it doesn't look like a true water hazard it looks more like casual water hundred and ninety four into a slight breeze The line looks quite good, but have I judged the distance prop? Oh, no, I haven't. Go! Go on. Oh, that's not bad, actually. I thought it was going to stop a bit shorter than that. Yeah, it's a nice birdie. It's a long par four, that one. I like that house in the background. Hundred and forty nine yards into a slight breeze. Oh no, poor swing. Be on the green, but not particularly close. Now this putt looks fairly straight. Not much movement on that at all. Yeah, good putt. Even though it was straight, I still needed to put a good swing on it. 
And then what we've got here, hole 11, short par 4. Yeah, now these, these water hazards definitely come into play. Got to be very careful here. Not much point in laying up with the three wood, to be honest, because you're still at risk. So I'm going to try the driver. Oh, that's slightly slow. I think it will be on the fairway, but I may be blocked out by that tree. Yeah, that's a, that's a well-positioned tree. I'm going to hit it, unfortunately, with the type of shot I'd like to play. It's the perfect distance for a flop shot, but I'm going to hit that tree. So can I be a bit creative here? think is the answer splash might be a better option than the flop shot the flop shots gonna go higher but even this might catch that branch so not sure I've ever played a splash shot with a nine iron before so this will be a first. Ah, it caught the tree, but I think I've got away with it. Yeah, big time. That was lucky. I was very lucky there. So we've got two par fives still to come on the back nine. And this is one of them. Oh, it's long. 600 and, well, not far short, 650. That's a really poor swing. Yeah, that's in the light rough, I think. It's not too bad, actually, because it's going to be a three-shotter anyway. So I think I'll just stick with the hybrid. Try and get it back on the fairway. Sixteen yards to go. Oh no. Ah, oh, lazy thumb syndrome, I call that. That's such a poor approach shot. turn enough. Ah, oh, what a shame. I've made a mess of this par 5. Yeah, that's really poor. Huge green here. into the breeze. I'm going to take a little bit off this hybrid. Yeah, 
Oh no. I was so determined not to hit that slow. I went the other way and hit it fast. Not playing very well today, guys. That's in big trouble. Oh my goodness me. That's really poor. Oh, steep upslope as well. I'm not quite sure how this is going to come out. That's quite good. Yeah, par save. Onto the 14th hole. Just admiring that house there. Very nice. Now this one is potentially drivable. There's that little pot bunker actually on the green. And I think I'm heading straight for it. Ah, uh, what a shame. Oh, okay, it's run through the sand into the light rough. Straightforward birdie, nothing too complicated with that one. That's not a good swing. That's tough. That's a really difficult pin place when it's right behind the tree. So the sensible shot here, coming out of the light rough, is to try and get it on the right hand side of the fairway, short of the water hazard. Oh, that needs to spin. Yeah, that's a good birdie. A little bit of a draw here. Just take it around those trees. Oh, it's a bit fast. Uh, come on. Oh, I think that's on the cart path. Oh, no, it says it's fairway. Okay, not quite sure how that works.
Just a fraction short. Oh, no, no, no. Stay there. Nice putt. Just two holes left to go now. I think I'd like to see these bunkers a bit deeper as well. They're a bit too shallow. Now that's a nice touch. You see in that lake there you've got the little jetties with the with the rowing boats and the people waiting to get on them. That's that's a nice little touch. Watching the golf while they're waiting for the boats. Oh, that was a pitch. I didn't realise. I got away with it. I thought I was hitting a normal shot then, and I was expecting a lot of backspin. Oh, it just dropped in the right side. Just have a quick look at that clubhouse a moment. That's nice. Now, this is a tricky par three. As you can see, it's a very large green, but you've got that bunker front middle. It's going to make this extremely difficult to get close. Oh no, 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 no. I've hit a lot of bad shots in this round, unfortunately. Oh, I've left myself a horrid putt as well here. 40 feet. Not quite high enough. Probably could have been could have done with being a fraction harder as well. Twelve under, not too bad. Like I say, I did hit quite a few bad shots in that round, unfortunately. It's a pleasant enough course though. Um like I say my couple of criticisms I think I would have. One, I think the bunkers are a bit too shallow. I think they need to be a bit deeper. Um, and some of the water hazard placements, particularly early on in the round, it, it seemed to get better on the back nine. They, were, they seemed to be dropped fairly randomly, almost in places where they wouldn't necessarily come into play unless you hit an absolutely atrocious golf shot. Um, but other than that, it was pleasant enough to play. And I like the way that he's designed the... Um, the name of the course out of the flowers that's really clever but um yeah not bad at all not bad at all well thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my youtube channel i would really really appreciate it so take care everyone 
and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.